Corruption in Uganda seems to be biting every sector, both in government and private entities. The vice has lately attracted condemnation, especially after parliamentarians were accused of being among the most corrupt individuals in the country. In fact, a section of protesters about two weeks ago took to the streets of Kampala to demonstrate against the vice. The initial plan was to march to parliament, but security suppressed their attempts. Now, the state minister of health in charge of general duties, Anifa Kawoya, has cautioned players in the health sector against getting involved in corruption, arguing that the vice could greatly affect service delivery in the critical and delicate health sector. Corruption in our institutions must be checked. A lot of issues have been raised about corruption in recruitment. Honorable, bear me out. Corruption in recruitment at every level. This week's service commission. According to Kawoya, corruption in the health sector takes different forms, including mishandling drugs provided by the government to health facilities. Absenteeism in the hospitals, not offering the service. Yesterday, they are choosing it. One of the hospitals, I'm sure it is here. And I felt so bad. And the lady said, honorable member, that she has evidence. I just told the speaker, if she has, let her bring the evidence. We investigate it. That corruption starts from the gate to the first door, then from the desk to the first nurse, then to the doctors themselves. Pius Okong, the chairperson of the Health Service Commission, told NTV that they have acquired an online recruitment system as one of the measures to combat corruption in the health sector. We tell them when they come physically on the interview board that you have come here, do not listen to anyone who is purporting to be asking for money. The services of the commission are free. So all those then who go ahead still and solicit for jobs, and so to pay money, they are doing so illegally. And when we get such reports, we have reported those cases to police and the police is handling them now. Meanwhile, the challenges surrounding the deployment of medical interns seem to be far from over, as Ministry of Health officials maintain that intern doctors can only be absorbed if the Ministry of Finance provides money. There are over 1,000 medical interns who are desperate to be deployed, but are uncertain about their fate. The health ministry needs more than 18.8 billion shillings to absorb the eligible interns, but this amount excludes cost of recruiting additional specialists to supervise them. The interns would not be demonstrating. All of you went to school. You know what you went through? The medics. Four years plus other years is not a simple thing. Some of your parents had to sell each and everything to ensure you are what you are. So when you send these students in school, we all anticipate as parents as a country that the process must be over and they are also somewhere for the good of this country. So it's not our own making that they're on the streets. Something must be done. And then when we say finance, once we are in the cabinet, the minister says, shh, when money is found, when will that be? He will say, yes, no. Money. Daniel Kibet, NTV.